Hello, I'm Regina, and I wanted to take some time to share a message with you. I speak with people from a lot of different locations. I speak to people all the time from all over the place. And one of the things that I hear all the time is, I really, really, really have a desire to change. I really want to do something different. I really want to start a business. I really want to get that job that I'm not in. Or it's just something that there is a deep desire within individuals that I truly, truly sense is real. People from all over are desiring change and, and they're wanting to do something different, but they're not doing it. The question is why? So I just wanted to share what came to my heart about willingness. I remember when I first gave my life to Christ, I had such a desire within me to learn the word, to understand Christ, to build a relationship with him and to know him. But I wasn't willing to study at the time because it wasn't convenient in my life. It just didn't, it didn't fit. So my Christian life wasn't really the Christian life because I didn't study. I didn't understand the character of God. I didn't understand what it was. And, and I was expecting the results, but I wasn't willing to put in the time to get the results that I desired. And the same exact thing is happening with every individual who's desiring this change. You're not willing to give up something. The question is, what are you willing to give up? to experience the change that you truly desire. Aren't you tired of spinning your wheels, saying the same things over and over and over again, going through the same exact things over and over and over again, experience the same results? Are you tired of that? Or what are you willing to give up to experience this change? And when I say, what are you willing to give up? If you want to build a business, that takes time. Are you willing to give up your time? Are you willing to stop watching TV or watching that favorite show of yours in order to study? In order to go to a webinar at night or go to a, a webinar in the morning or go to a conference or a seminar to learn the training? And, and to take it a step back, are you willing to invest in yourself? Are you willing to pay the money that it costs to go to a course, to buy that book, to buy the study Bible if you want to build a better relationship and understand the word? Whatever it is, to pay a coach, to pay a mentor, to pay someone to help you with your social, social media. Whatever it is, are you willing to invest? Are you willing to give up that TV show? What are you willing to do? What are you willing to give up? What are you willing to even believe about yourself? Do you even believe that you can do a business? Do you even believe that you can be promoted? Do you believe that you can get the job that you want? Well, can I tell you that desires are real? We have desires and those desires are not just made up. Those desires are truly real. The desires that we have in our hearts and I'm not talking about just chasing after any fancy new thing and chasing after the new whatever, the new things that's out there. All of that is fine. But I'm talking about those deep desires that just continuously keep coming up inside of you. The change that you want to experience. What are you trying to do? And what is it that you're doing to get those results that you want? What are you willing to do? What are you willing to give up? What are you willing to invest? And lastly, are you willing to sow? Are you willing to sow and do things such as sow your time, sow your money, sow something? Because we all know that in order to, when you sow, there is a reaping. So if you're always sowing, you're going to always be reaping. So are you willing to sow in some things in order to get the things that you want? I know for me, I can't hear myself say another moment that, oh my gosh, I want this so bad. I want it so bad, but you're not willing to do what it is to get what you need to get. Well, that's kind of crazy to me. Why are we still saying the same things over and over and over and not making the change? Reach out, make that call to that individual. Don't continuously go through the same exact thing and experience the same results. Do something different. Are you doing something different today? And what is it? And what are you willing to do today? 
I hope that this message has helped not to discourage, not to do anything. But whenever we're trying to make a change, it takes a willingness to walk away from those people who are causing a distraction in our life. Walk away from those things that are taking away from our time. Walking, walking towards a conference, walking towards a seminar, walking towards a course, walking towards investing in yourself, walking towards the positive and walking away from those things that are not creating the change that you desire. And I know for myself that I have said I have, I have, I'm tired of hearing myself say the things that I desire and not actually getting it. So I decided to make a change. I decided to invest in myself. It doesn't just fall in your lap, especially the great things that you want. John Maxwell says that everything uphill, everything worthwhile is uphill. That means it takes some climbing going up. What are you willing to do? Are you willing? Think about it. Thank you.